Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. A little bit of a different video for this week. I thought I would show you different calculators you can use for A-level maths. I get the question quite a lot on Instagram, in my YouTube comments and on my maths Instagram. People ask what calculator is best for A-level. And I've answered quite a few of the questions and some people just don't know. When I started at college, we had an induction day a few weeks before we started and they told us the calculator that we needed to buy. Some colleges might not do that, so that's why I'm creating this video today. So first of all, we are starting with the GCSE calculator. I've got three calculators in front of me here and I feel like I'm on Antiques Roadshow or something showing you my calculators. But anyway, here we have, in fact, first of all, Four calculators here, one calculator here, another one, and another one. Four plus three is seven. I've got seven calculators. If anybody needs one, you know where to call. We're going to start with the GCSE calculator. Now this is the Casio FX85 GT Plus. This is no good for A-level maths. It doesn't have the correct features that you need for A-level maths, things like differentiation, integration, you can't do on this calculator. And this is the calculator that most people have for GCSE. I know there is a different up sort of upgraded version of this that looks a little bit like this one for GCSE, um, but this is the one that I use for GCSE. And this is no good. You might get away with using this calculator in the first few of your A-level lessons and your teachers might not be too bothered. Some of them might be, I can't comment for all of them, but this one is not the calculator that you want. So this has done you well for GCSE or, you know, one similar to this has done you well for GCSE, but don't take it to sixth form or college for your A-levels. This is the calculator that you want for A-level. I will leave a link in the description to where I bought it. It's the Casio FX991EX ClassWiz. You can just type into Google Casio ClassWiz. It has a nice little case. It's the best one, I think, for A-level. I haven't actually looked at any other A-level calculators, so I don't really know why I can say that, but this is the one that was recommended to me by my college. Like I said, there might be other suitable ones out there that can differentiate and integrate, which is something you really need your calculator to do for A-level. So if you, you know, you don't want to buy this straight away because there might be others, get in contact with your sixth form or college, email them, have a look on their website to see if they actually recommend a suitable calculator. But if not, then this one will do you fine. Different menus, so we've got just the normal calculate mode, then we've got complex mode, which if you're doing further maths, this calculator is fine as well because of the complex mode that will allow you to go into a mode where you can do the square root of minus one, you can add complex numbers, you can work out the argument of complex numbers, loads of things like that that you'll learn in further maths, this calculator can do as well. So if you're thinking of further maths, this calculator is also fine. Matrix mode menu four is perfect for further maths as well. And then there's things like vectors, the statistics mode that you will use so much for A-level maths, you will definitely need that. You can't get away with using this because you just won't be able to answer questions in the exam. I think I got it from Amazon. It was around about £18, but check the link in the description to see the price of it because I can't quite remember. And shop around as well to see if there's any cheaper deals that you might be able to get second hand if you, you know, you don't want to spend the full price on a new calculator. As long as it works, that's all you need. Now, I do have a graphical calculator and the graphical calculator allows you to draw graphs. You don't really need a graphical calculator for A-level because they are a lot more expensive. This is the graphical calculator that I have. It's the Casio FX CG50. I think it's one of the newer graphical calculators. There might be a newer one than this model. I can't quite remember. Before I tell you anything about the calculator, there's a deal you can get if you go through the Casio website. You get it for around about £80, which is still really, really expensive for a calculator. It's kind of worth it. Only people that are gonna want this calculator 
we're going to buy it so you're okay with spending that amount of money on a calculator. Don't buy this calculator through Amazon or anything like that because it's just way too expensive. Go through the link in the description. Now this calculator is like the dad of all calculators. There are better ones, touchscreen ones, I think, but this is the one that I used and it helped me out a lot. So what is the difference, like I said, apart from drawing graphs than this one to this one? As you can see, both of these are on at the minute and this one has a, a backlight, this one doesn't. It's a bigger display as you can see, so you can see more of what you're doing on the calculator and the functions and the buttons are a little bit different and the way you input things on this calculator is different to this one. This one also has all the different menus and as you can see, it's colourful. So it kind of looks nicer. Menu five is what most people will use this calculator for because it's the graph mode. So if I go in there, the last graph that I drew was x squared. You can draw loads of different graphs at once. All you need to do is press execute. And as you can see, it's drawn the x squared graph for me. So it's really, really useful. And then what you can do with that along the bottom, there's loads of these buttons here. You can trace the graph to find out different values of x when y equals two, three, four, one as well, if you like, or any decimal points as well. You can zoom in and out. You can look at it from a different perspective in um, the window mode. And you can also solve things like the root of the graph, the maximum, the minimum, y intercept, any x intercepts as well. So it's really, really useful. But what you've got to remember and my teacher told us this all the time, that this is just a checking tool. You can't use this to cheat. And now what I mean by that is you might be asked to draw a graph in your exam and let's just say you wouldn't get this for A-level maths or further maths, but let's just say they ask you to draw X squared and show your working or, you know, draw a different type of graph, something like that. You wouldn't be able to just copy it straight down from this calculator because you haven't done the work. The calculator's done it for you. What you might need to do is plot points and make a little table or something like that and show the examiner that you know you've drawn this graph and you've plotted the points. Then once you have drew it in your head or you've drew it on the paper, you can check with your calculator. And it basically gives you peace of mind in the exam that you've drawn the graph right and, you know, you've got the marks. So don't think that if you buy this calculator, you're going to get extra marks in your A-level maths or further maths exam because the calculator can do things for you. You're not. It's just going to help you check in your exam and, like I said, give you peace of mind. If you do think of buying this calculator, it runs, like I said, completely different to the class whiz calculator that I just showed. So you want to buy this in time for your exam. Buy it months before so that you're prepared and you know exactly where the buttons are so you don't get confused in the exam. There we go! I didn't really know what to film for today's video and then I had a brainstorm. I saw my calculator on my desk and I thought I am going to make a video on calculators. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and follow me over on other social medias if you want to. Let me know what other videos you would like to see in the comment section down below. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye! Bye. The dad of all calculators.